All right, guys, Mr. G back with another game review. And today we are looking at Disco Elysium. Um, the game describes itself as a groundbreaking open world role playing game. You're a detective with a unique skill system at your disposal. And you've got a whole city block to carve your path across, interrogate unforgettable characters, crack murders, or take bribes, become a hero, or an absolute disaster of a human being. I don't think I've ever seen a game so accurately describe itself. Uh, you're a cop. You wake up with no memory in the city of Revachol. Uh, Disco Elysium is a detective RPG of ridiculous depth. It's part Planescape Torment and it's part police procedural generated thing and it's part psychodrama. The world's like an alternate future. It's not steampunk. It's not diesel punk. It's just its own unique place. So you wake up with this shattered hangover and you're in your own soiled underwear on the floor and you pick yourself up and you have to figure out who your character is. This is where you're going to start to literally piece together your life. You have no money to pay for the place you're staying in. You've got to literally use detective skills just to find your shoes. That being said, this game plays like a tabletop RPG, but in real life. You attempt to do something and you're going to roll a dice and you're going to get skill checks to see if those things are going to happen. The whole game is based on skill checks and a unique set of skills and stats that your character can unlock. Does this sound boring? You're not running around shooting people? Uh, absolutely not. You are going to be doing a fair bit of reading in this game though. And the game gives you a ridiculous amount of choices on the way you're going to be able to speak and interact with people in the world which is going to change your character and how people react to them uh, and how the game plays as you go through it there's also something really interesting and unique in this game that i've never seen another game do and that's the fact that you can unlock thoughts which are kind of like stat modifiers for your character uh, as you speak to people you reveal thoughts uh, that can be slotted into your brain and developed over time unlocking stat buffs and insightful nuggets of story some of these have big effects and some of them are just silly uh, and the names of some of these are pretty hilarious this is a really dense game uh, i'm gonna tell you right now i jumped into it i played maybe five minutes and i was like oh, i don't know if i have it in me to sit here and read this much text and do this and it, you know it plays like a game from the 1990s in a lot of ways um, with an absolutely beautiful art style but I just kept wanting to find out a little bit more and do a little bit more and investigate a little bit more because the world is absolutely fascinating and unique and just its own thing that I've not seen anywhere else before. So I've got quite a few hours sunk into the game at this point, enough where I feel like I can do a pros, cons, and recommendation for y'all. So pros of this game, the writing, it's super cheeky, self-indulgent, and absolutely hilarious at times, but it's also dark and serious at the same time. Uh, the other thing is the art style. This game is beautifully rendered and just everything looks like a watercolored picture of some kind. It's absolutely gorgeous. Another big one is choices. There are a stupid amount of choices in the way you can craft your character and interact with the world and the way that you can speak the things that come out of your character's mouth. Cons. Um, you're going to probably not play this game in hours and hours at a time because you're going to be doing a ridiculous amount of reading. And if you're an old guy with glasses like me, do go into settings because you can crank up the text size, which made my life so much easier. Uh, another thing is there's no real tutorial. The game doesn't really explain itself. I mean, you don't even get half of the elements in the user interface until you dig some of your items out of a dumpster, which you have to do skill checks and things just to find. Um, I don't want to spoil too much for you, but yeah, this game isn't going to hold your hand uh, in how it reveals itself to you, the player. But that's also part of the beauty of this game. Would I recommend this game for 40 euros? I would if you're somebody who wants an engrossing story and a real old school RPG experience with a bunch of choice. If you like running around shooting things in the face, this is probably not the game for you to jump into. Also, if you're in high school and your reading level is not up to speed, you're probably going to be struggling with some of the stuff in here and going, what does that word mean? I've looked up a few myself. Um, that being said, I do want to stop recording this review and I do want to go play this game more. Uh, and I'm encouraged to not, you know, 
look up the walkthroughs. I just want to play it and discover this game for myself. All right, you guys, that is it for this one. If you found reviews like this on the channel useful, do let me know in the comments. And I hopefully you say, hey, do I want to try this game out? Thanks, Mr. G, for letting me know. I'm going to catch you guys later. Mr. G out.